Okay. Hello, hello again, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. This is the Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus bi weekly read for August 16th through August 31st. I don't own any rights to the music playing in the background. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Also, you can switch the roles. If, if I'm reading, I say this is your energy, you feel like it's your partner's energy, then feel free to switch it, okay? Thank you guys for your likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Also, thank you for your personal bookings of your personal readings and for all the donations you guys have sent me. I am so, so thankful, so, so grateful. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It helps the video get out to more people. Um, let's get into it, Aries. Sorry, you guys are last, but, but not least. I've been trying to get readings done in between my personals, okay, you guys? So let's get into this spirit. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and their love life for August 16th through the 31st. Okay, what's going on with Aries? Two more for Aries. Make sure you guys can see them. Okay, two more for Aries. Okay. One more for Aries. Um, Aries, you guys may be dealing with a Gemini. I got two, so I'll take them. Because you guys pretty much got almost all the same cards, just in different areas, um, as a Gemini. So some of you Aries may be dealing with a Gemini right now, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have well-deserved reward here, Okay. Um, I do feel like you guys have some blessings coming in, you guys, okay, as far as love here. Um, you may have a few options and choices as well. So, Spirit is saying, um, well, guys, let me tell you cards, what cards you guys have first before I get into it. I'm sorry. You have Just Breathe, Choose Your Battles, Control, Shine, and Manifest, okay? So, Spirit is saying, you might need to take some time out, rest, relax, um, Use your intuition, okay, so that you can make this choice. There is um, possibly, could be possibly three three or four people that you have to choose between. Um, but you do have some choices and options here. And I feel like you may be caught up in your head because you're not sure what to do with these choices here, okay. Um, there is some type of control going on. I don't know if. You're trying to control the situation and you need to release control if someone else is trying to control the situation towards you. Um, if you need to work on more self-control, but I do see you shining here. I do see um, you opening up and healing. I see your heart glowing. I see you opening up and ready for new love. I see you manifesting this new love into your life as well, okay? Um... I feel like Spirit is really saying you need to go with the flow here, okay? Pay attention. Listen to your intuition. Um, you'll know who to choose or which way to go, okay? You'll know the right moves to make. You are manifesting this, though, okay? You have all the tools to have the relationship and the love that you want in your life right now, Aries, okay? You are manifesting this. So what is this? Okay, just breathe, yes. Okay, so I feel like, Aries, there's someone... That may be coming towards you or someone that you're um, feeling that um, you may be either offering a couple of love to or they're offering a couple of love to you and, and you're not really paying them any attention. Um, you kind of just kind of caught off, off, off in your own world, really doing your own thing. Possibly because you have these other options. Like I said, it could be three or four people. You could be so busy um, entertaining all these other people here that you're not paying attention to the one true person that really has your best interest here. The one that you really manifested. The well-deserved reward here. The person that um, really will um, open your heart, okay? That will give you the love that you do deserve, okay? So, you may um, be missing out. Yeah. Hmm. The Six of Wands. This is reward and recognition. Um, there is someone here that does see you as... Um, Someone who could possibly be um, in the public eye. They see you as someone who should be rewarded or recognition. They see you for who you are. Um, 
this person also could be somebody who has possibly in the public eye, someone that people are cheering on, someone who's who's getting a lot of accolades for something, okay? Um, and you may not be paying them any accolades, okay? Because you're so busy caught up in all this other stuff going on around you, Aries. So Spirit is saying, just breathe, take a break. Um, look at all the options that you have, okay? And see who 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 is the one that really stands out, the one that really shines, the one that is giving you this... Um, they're not just telling you, they're showing you this love, okay? This they're putting in the effort, okay? I also feel here with this choose your battles that there may be someone not not necessarily um a love interest, but could be a family member or a friend that you may be having some difficulties with right now too. Could be a lot of control issues going on back and forth between you and this person, Aries. Um yeah, so with this choose your battle, I have the two of wands, which is making a choice, <laughs> choose choosing wisely. Um, this is is this is weighing out your options and making a choice. Okay, um, this could also be you may be making a, some type of trip, sometime traveling, sometime in the in the near future. Um, your person, one of your people, or somebody could be at a distance from you. Um, they may have to travel to you. He may also be going on a trip somewhere near some water, okay? Traveling near water because I have the three of wands here. And I keep, I got uh, drawn to the surfboards on both of these cards. But the three of wands is looking out towards the future. This is awaiting your ships to come in, okay? So you, you made a choice. Um... Are you in the process of making a choice, and you're waiting for the 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 ships to come in about this choice? Okay, you're waiting to to see if you made the correct choice with this person, or um, you're weighing your options so you can make the correct choice because you don't want to make the wrong choice. You don't want to choose the wrong person. Okay, this is control. Yeah. So I do feel like um, with this control, this has to do with something from your past. Um, looking back on the past, still having some type of attachments to the past. Um, past person could still possibly have some type of control over you in your life. Um, you might still be energet energetically connected to this person from the past as well. Um, even if you're not talking to them or seeing them, you thinking about this person. Um, Thinking about things that happened, thinking about things you could have said or should have said, that keeps you energetically connected. Um, you may need to release the control of that, okay? If if that's you, Aries, okay? Um, I also feel like you could have walked away from someone in the past because they were controlling, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like you've been using your intuition. Um, Possibly could be some secrets around you. Um, someone could possibly be secretive. Um, possibly trying to control you with secrets. Or keeping things from you which are controlling you. Um, but I also feel like you could be using your intuition, Aries. About this situation. About who to choose. Okay, You do have um, a Knight of Pentacles that's coming in here. This person who's coming towards you. Male or female. Um, it's slow moving, okay, because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving um, night in the day. But this person is coming to bring stability. Um, you see his little, I don't want to call him stupid, but he got a horse and he walking. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can just hop on the horse and hurry up and get here. But this is somebody who, who likes to take his time. He likes to think things out. Or she likes to take her time and she likes to think things out, okay? Um, this is someone who lets go of control issues as well okay so you may need to let go of some control issues if that's you aries okay you can't control everything um what is this shine here spirit but i do feel like there's something coming in for you i feel like you also intuitively feel that there's something coming in for you um that's going to be stable yeah shine because you have wish fulfillment coming here okay possibly could be a water sign here that's coming in towards you um 
I feel like your energy is all up in here. I have wands, 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 and cups of water. Um, High Priestess is a Pisces. You have, um, so you have a lot of water here. A lot of love here, too, in this situation. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. We have Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, and wands, uh, possibly another fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sag, okay? Um, but this is wish fulfillment. This is, um... <laughs> look, you guys, look. You see how both of them, how this is opening up your heart. You see how they both are, are shining out of their heart, their heart, out of their heart chakras here. Um, this is healing. This is, this is getting wish fulfillment. This is choosing the right person. So I do feel like if you follow your heart and listen to your intuition, you're going to choose right. You're going to choose the correct person. You're going to choose the person that's going to bring you this reward and recognition, okay? Um, you do need to release these issues from the past, though. Whatever it is you're still dwelling on, whatever energy ties that you still have connected to the past, you need to release that so that you can have this new love that's here. It's here, yeah. So whoever stabbed you in the back in the past, whoever hurt you, it's time to let that go. It's time to cut it out and release it because you have wish fulfillment coming in here. You have manifested this, Aries, okay? Um, can I get two cards from this manifest spirit? For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from August 16th to August 31st. New beginnings, yeah. You're manifesting this new beginning. huh? Just as I said that the Ace of Cups comes out your you're manifesting this new beginning in love someone wants to come and offer you this cup of love or you want to go offer a cup of love to someone okay um you're looking towards your future you're making choices and decisions about your future what's going to best suit you what's going to bring you the happiness and the joy that you really desire okay you're manifesting this happiness this joy this truth this stability within your life okay this new love or even if it's someone that you've been with and you want to stay with and you're trying to work on it, you're manifesting this new beginning within that relationship, okay? But you do have to release and forgive whatever this Ten of Swords issue is, whatever it's cost you to have this heartbreak, okay? The last one, this is for Aries. Yeah, because you have a commitment coming. Um, if this is someone who is, is new coming into your life, they want to commit to you. This is someone that you've been dating and for a while and and they want to come and they want to bring in engagement and marriage okay and if this is someone who you're married to they want to recommit to you they want to reignite the fire in this relationship they they want to to heal whatever the past issues were with you aries so that you guys can move forward okay and rebuild this commitment this is also someone who wants to come in and celebrate with you. This is someone who wants to come possibly build a house, a foundation with you. They possibly want to move with you, okay? Um, yeah, you need to release though, okay? For you to have this, this new love to come in, you have to release. You're still caught up. This is, this is self-imprisonment here. This is having yourself bound and tied, even though you're really not bound and tied, okay? This is still concentrating on someone from the past. This is still being energetically connected to something from the past. You need to release it now, okay? So that you can have this this wish fulfillment here. Okay, Aries? So until next time, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, it really does help the channel. Once again, um, if you like a personal or if you'd like to um, leave me a donation, those are greatly appreciated as well. That information is below in the description box. And until next time, guys, love, light, and peace, okay?